Welcome everybody to HD Piano. My name is Dan. In this lesson, we'll learn how to play Everything I Do, I Do It For You by Brian Adams. We'll take a look at the intro in video number one. It sounds like this. Three, four. Short and sweet is the intro here. We have six other videos to this lesson. Verse, chorus, verse and chorus alternate, bridge, final chorus, whole song run through. That's all at hdpiano.com if you're not already there. My question before we get learning here is related to the first time I heard this song. It was 2002. I got a Casio keyboard for Christmas, and one of those preloaded demo songs that played a, a cute little piano arrangement was this, was this Brian Adams song. And I until two years ago... I wasn't even sure what that song was, and I found out, and so here we are now, I'm teaching it to you. So my question is, where and when did you first hear this song, uh, Everything I Do, I Do It For You? Comment below. So let's look at this short, sweet intro. Um, it's going to sort of set up, establish uh, a lot of how this song goes, accompaniment-wise. Let's look first at the right hand. This is middle C, so A flat and F above middle C is where the right hand starts. We play this, one, two, three. So let's slow that down. We, we play this chord, and then two and three are on A flat. Then this lick comes in. So we have D flat and G flat. Then we pop up to A flat. And then that A, fl a flat, excuse me, graces down. It's called a grace note, we just flick it back to this chord. And then we hit an F. So that's the that's the lick that we hear at the top. And we land on this A flat chord, A flat and E flat. And then we invert it down to E flat and A flat. Same notes, different position. So let's look at all that right hand up to there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Here's the next lick. So we have C and E flat, twice on A flat, once on D flat. They all get the same rhythm. Okay, then we land on this G flat chord and we play it like this, one and two, three. So we only hit that G flat once while we're rocking between. Then the last lick of the intro is like this. So we have B flat and D flat, E, and we grace from E flat to F, then D flat, ultimately to this A flat open chord here, which we invert. Okay, seems like a lot, but let's just look at the right hand, all of the intro super slowly. Right hand intro. Two, ready, here we go. One. Very good, very good. Now this song is super slow, so we're almost there. We're almost to the recorded tempo, even at that performance speed. Uh, let's throw the left hand into the mix. So if you're taking notes there, we're pretty much right here. D flat in octaves in the left hand. So we have D flat on the bottom, D flat on the top, and we're doing this kind of like rocking thing. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And have these little nuances like that, A flat in the middle. For the most part, if you wanted to, don't tell anyone, but you could get away totally just by playing this. I'm not gonna change anything in the left hand. Right? 
sounds like it fits pretty well, right? Well, uh, in, in the case of the recording, we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing this. Watch the left hand. Now we throw in this A flat. Now, we have a B flat first on top, and then we jump up to that D flat. Throw that A flat in the middle again. So I'm gonna play the left hand on its own just so you have a, a reference. Here's the left hand. Ready and play and one and four and one two three four and one two and three and four. So it's not too complicated, but you know, in with the right hand, it can be challenging, especially because a lot of what the left hand is doing is it becomes sort of a part of the right hand. So, for example, watch this. Even that rhythm is sort of establishing bum, 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 what the right hand is going to do. Or the next measure, for example. Here's the setup. Do you hear that? It's boom, boom. It's almost one line from the left to right hand. So that's why it can be a little challenging. It's very improvised, very improvised feeling, but I'm going to do my best to to uh, dictate the exact the exact accompaniment that we're hearing in the recording. So let's do that. Let's play the whole intro very, very slowly. Here we go. Two and ready and play. And one, two. a sustain pedal here. Look at I let go of the notes. They're still ringing. I'm using the pedal and we're using a lot of it in this song. Very blended. Let's do a little faster than that. Two and ready and intro. Right, I think we're ready to play it at recorded tempo, which is 66 BPM. Somewhere around there. Let's do this. Here we go. Ready and play and... There you have it. That's the intro to I Do It For You by Brian Adams. And uh, if you struggled with that, especially that last performance, go back. That's the beauty of the rewind button. You get to play it as many times as you'd like. You can even slow it down on YouTube. You can even go to the settings and slow it down if that was even too fast. All right, at this point, we're ready to move on to part two, which is the verse. It's at hdpiano.com, as are the rest of the sections to this lesson. And uh, while I've got your ear, I would like to direct you to our social media. On Twitter, we'll take your requests. We are at HDPiano. The hashtag to send them to is hashtag HDRequests. On Instagram, we'd love to see your performance clips. Send us a 15, 30-second video, something that you learned on our channel, and uh, we're likely to repost it for all of our followers to see. On YouTube, please subscribe if you haven't. And on Facebook, a thumbs up, a like is always appreciated. Thanks for making it this far, guys. I am Dan. And I'll see you at hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson, for the next part.